Okay, so we are reviewing Zodiac Academy, the whole series. Um, there is one book that is coming out, so it is not completely finished. You know, I would say it should have been finished many so books ago. How many are out right now? Seven? There are eight books right now. And then there's two novellas that are like, you don't have to read them to know what's going on, but they are out there. Okay, let's do spoilers. Because I honestly don't think I'll read the series because it's way too fucking long. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know. I have a very love-hate relationship with this. So I started off with the first book and I absolutely hated it. I would have rated it an F by itself. Wait, why? I actually, because it's just like the whole book, everyone is just bullying each other. So it's, So basically a synopsis is these two girls are princesses or yeah they're princesses and then they become in danger when they're first born so their parents hide them and then their parents die and then they're left in the mortal realm well when they turn um i think it's 18 yeah when they turn 18 their power like signature like magic signature like goes out into the world and they find out that these two girls are still alive so they go and get them kind of like harry potter where he you know he gets he's like hey you have magic now that's the same thing that happened to these two girls and their twins so they're like hey you have magic you're the princesses like they would be the queens because their parents are gone now so it just goes through their life of they start going to college so the, and then they're so while they're gone or whatever when they're in the mortal world these four heirs as they call them have taken over and they were like the counselor's kids so mm -hmm. it would they would be taking over because there were no more royalty because they thought everyone was dead so these guys in the first book are just complete bullies like they're complete assholes like i was just like i cannot read another freaking any of this so i googled it i'm like should you keep going and of course people were like just read the next book and i'm like fine so i read the next book and then i get like completely hooked on it and it's like so good and then you get to the sixth book and you're like it should have ended there like there is like things that happen like there's an, the main bad guy like could have died and then they just keep drawing it out so book seven and eight I was like why do we have seven and eight like it could have easily ended at six and been like a really great series so not only do they drag it out they add stuff that is just so completely left field that you're like, oh my God, what is even happening? Like some of the like chapters or like points of view that you read, because they're all points of view. They're not like chapters. Okay. You read are just like, what? And then some of them are really, really good. Like there's some characters that I just love and I want to know what happens to them. Other ones, I'm like, what is wrong with these people? Like, how do they even think of this? This is just so crazy that I'm just like, what? Do you think that she, did you get the feel, the vibe that she was just trying to like fill space in the books to continue the story going? Yeah, definitely. I mean, maybe seven, no, but like eight, I was definitely like, this is such a stretch. Nothing good happens in seven and eight. It's just like bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. Like, I know you don't want like happy things, but nothing good happens. Like they just keep, like people keep dying, like things just keep going wrong. Like everything just keeps going wrong. There's no like, reprieve. <laughs> no, it's just like these poor characters are just like going through this stuff and you're just like, when will this end? And then the last book just takes a complete like twist and you're just like, okay, so the ninth book is going to be completely different. Like, I don't know how it can be like similar. I mean, they're going to be fighting the same person, but they've just like added, I feel like they're stretching to add like really weird characters. Whereas the first, you know, two through six, you know, you're like attached to these characters and you're like, really want to know what happens. And then they just start making them really weird. Some One of my favorite characters gets really weird. And I'm just like, okay, I can't deal with this. Well, how do they I'm get like, really weird? weird? I'm like, what is even happening? Well, so like Caleb is in love with one of the princesses mm -hmm. and he finds out that she's in love with his friend whatever so the one of the four guys uh -huh. main people 
And so then they just turn him into like, he starts falling in love with one of his friends. And it's just like really weird how they bring it about. Like at first you're like rooting for him to get together. And then they just start acting like idiots. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, how was he with her and not acting like this stupid? But when he's with the other guy, now he's acting like an idiot. Like no one has communication and it makes me crazy. And like all these people have like these like relationships. And when any any of them in the book is like having a problem, no one communicates. They just go off, do their own thing, and some catastrophic thing happens. I'm just like, oh my God. Like people just talk to each other. And these two guys have been like on and off for like two books. And I'm like, someone just tell the other one that you like him. Like, oh my God. Like, what is even happening? So is Zodiac Cat and like are all these people like going to school together? Or like, yes. how does the name come into play? So like each person's, so like you get every morning the Zodiac, like they think the stars are ruling the world or the galaxy. So every morning they get their, st- like their, what do they call it? Like a mm-hmm. Gemini. This is how your day will go. They're like. What is that called? Like future. a reading sort of. um. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. I wonder if it says that on the first. Like astrological yeah. reading. Mm-hmm. But, like they do tarot cards and like try to predict the future. Would you say um, this is more witchy or more like magicians or more like fae? They're fae. They're all fae. So yeah, they have like their own powers and then they're like sign help. So they have like, there's four different types of power, like earth, water, fire, air. Okay. And then they, I mean, they can do spells and stuff too. Like they do that at a few different times, but yeah, they're, I mean, they're mostly fae, like and they like shift into things. Like everybody has their own like werewolves, vampires, all that kind of stuff okay so I rated it a oh, B I was just gonna ask you that the whole thing like yeah right? it's okay. like the first book I hated it but like I'm like okay so I like read the next one I thought two through six were really really good like I would have rated them by themselves an A and that seven and eight just made me like lower it because I'm just like it's just getting too weird like everything's getting really really crazy like things are happening and I'm like why is this the thing so I felt like you know when you're watching like a show and it's kind of starting to get like kind of crappy and you're just like you feel like viewers are going down and then they just go out in left field and add something really weird I Crazy feel like that's what happened yeah like I feel like that's what yeah. happened here where I'm just like what mm-hmm. <laughs> like so like what that's too bad because I feel like if you could end it, um, there are multiple ways to like do spinoff stories or like even in the same realm. Cassandra Clare has done it a million times. Uh, and it yeah. sounds like she's a good writer. Like why not just end that series and that story? Well, it's actually sisters who write it. So there's two authors. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that's, that's kind cool. of interesting. So I wonder, like, so it's about two sisters. So I'm like, I wonder if one of them is like the one, like, you know, if they have their own yeah. sister that they're more like. Oh my gosh, we yeah. should write a book, book club book. <laughs> Seven authors. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. I feel like you'd know when certain people were writing because there'd be like yeah. a lot of death and scalping, and then there'd be like romance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then be Steve's philosophical. Yeah. maybe we shouldn't write a book yeah well I'm torn because on one hand B is a good rating for a series but on the other hand it's really way too long yeah and there's still another one coming out yeah I like how decided it's like a long series but it's broken up into like you know three different stories are going on the only thing I can say about Sarah J Moss is the only book I hated was Tower of Dawn like the other ones I read so fast yeah that one was like this last like the last Zodiac book I read it took me forever to read it because I'm like nothing good happens and it just keeps getting worse and worse and I just know there's another book coming out and I'm not gonna read it until I find out if it's the last one or not because I'm like no 
I bet it's not. I bet it can take. I, I don't see how it could be. And I've seen that on TikTok where other like book readers talk about it, and they're like, I don't, I don't know how it could end like that. But things are just getting real crazy. Mm-hmm. You'll have. We'll have to do a follow up if you read them. Yeah. Yeah. If I read the last one or whatever the last parts, um, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah. As of now, it's a B. It has good yes. at parts. Mm-hmm. TBD on the whole series because we don't know if it's ever going to end. <laughs> Shadow Hunters. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I'm surprised you kept up with that one as long as you did. I know. It was like, if it weren't for my main characters that I really liked and really wanted to know what happened to, I might not have. Yeah. But there that were like some, like they they read it like so I'll show you like each chapter is like a person's point of view Mm. I will tell you when dumb people were talking I skipped their chapter completely like I was just like this person I don't know what they're even saying it's not even important to the story it's just like some side stories and that could have easily been cut out so yeah I just skipped some people that were like like lower characters that were like just not the main characters because there's I mean there's six main characters seven main characters wow who are like main characters and then they have these other characters that are like their siblings or like their friends and they're not really bringing anything to the plot or anything like they're just like talking about life in college and I'm just like yeah bye bye (laughs) I just I think it's pretty (laughs) impressive when authors can make you start to care about the side stories I'll say like uh Lysandra in Throne of Glass. I yes. really start like her and Aiden and then a lot of the um what's that guy's name with the long black hair? Orkin. Yes. So I started to use really my favorite caught up and there's in the witches, the clans. Um mm-hmm. I was yeah, like looking back, I didn't realize it at the time, but now after reading other series, I think that's pretty impressive to where you can like get readers hooked on the side stories too. Yeah. I don't know if I would recommend I mean if you have time I would recommend it but if you don't want to get into a long series I wouldn't it's not like a must read no I mean you could stop at six and just call it good and (laughs) be fine yeah I mean I don't know (laughs) you can get past the first book then two through six are really really good so I feel like it was really hard to rate this one so Mm -hmm. Well, TBD, because it's not done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like you have to read the final ones now. I know. I kind of want to see, like, what, if there is just one left, I will read it. But Like, if it, there's a redeeming moment, you know, where everything comes together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's Zodiac Academy.